Hey, this is Tristan Amon with Mindful Living Realty. Welcome back to Tristan and his whiteboard. We're continuing on with 12.2, talking about appraisal issues. So, like I talked about before, with most loans, VA loan, FHA loan, RD loan are the most strict, even some conventional loans have some condition requirements that a bank requires before they'll fund on that loan. These basically are safety, weather tight, those type of issues, making sure that the home is not gonna all fall apart on them and the lender's got this piece of crap to deal with if the buyer doesn't fix it up, right? So that being said, these are the most common ones and these are assuming that the home is in working order. You know, there's gotta be heat, there's gotta be water, everything's gotta be working and functional for you to actually live in the property. If you're expecting to get a VA loan on a foreclosure property that they won't even turn the water on for you to test, ain't gonna happen. They're not gonna fund on that type of property. Uh, so make sure you understand the, you know, these requirements before going out looking at a bunch of properties that may not even be financeable for the financing that you've got. So number one biggest thing is peeling paint. Uh, any kind of uh, exterior paint, especially outside, mostly outside, inside is not as big of a deal, but exter exterior paint um, along the windows, on the garage, the garage doors, all that stuff must be painted, must be scraped, painted, and taken care of before the appraiser will give it the nod of approval. Reason for that is, is obviously if that's not taken care of, the rain will, is gonna cause rot and uh, problems with, with the property and the lender doesn't trust you to take care of it. So they wanna make sure that it's painted prior to them funding the property, okay? Same thing with the cracked windows. Wanna make sure that the property is taken care of, that the property does not let in any weather, weatherproofed, right? Um, any obvious roof issues, if there's roof curls, if there's missing shingles, not even a, a chance that they're gonna, uh, they're gonna um, finance that property. The other condition, of course, is anything that's foundation. Now, the foundation has to be pretty obvious. Uh, an appraiser is not a foundation expert. If they see a little bit of heaving back and forth, they may not say anything, but if it's obvious, they're gonna call it and say, hey, we're not gonna fund this property. Last one is safety issues. So if there's any railings going down the stairs that are missing, if there's a high deck with no railings installed, those are all gonna get called by the appraiser as things that need to get fixed prior to them love uh, funding on the property. So there you have it. Appraisal issues we need to con be concerned about or at least wise taking a look at before we even consider putting an offer on it. And of course, we want to also consider that if we need to put a purchase agreement together on our property that needs some of these things fixed, we just ask for it right away and see if the seller is willing to do it. Okay? Sounds good. We will talk to you again in the next episode. Have a great one. For more episode of Tristan and his whiteboard, all you got to do is subscribe. Also, you can check out us on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course, the Instagram. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.